Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Mod of Oblivion. What the fuck is that? Anyway, as you can see we are here at the Anvil Lighthouse because we have to find some blood that belongs to Matthew Bellamont. So we're going back into this horrible basement. I dread what we might find here. Gotta find some blood. Is that battle? Oh my god. Ghost of Matthew Bellamont! He's back! Oh no! He's coming for vengeance. But in that case, I'm gonna have to recharge my... Uh... Sniper. I mean, my bow. Alright. There we go. You won't hit me, Matthew Bellamont! It's vengeance! I killed you once before, I can do it again! I don't need your goddamn longsword. Ghost of Matthew Bellamont. Wonderful. Now to find some blood. Uh, let's see. Can't take that. Okay, dried blood. All right. I don't know why he has blood on a stool. Did he have his period? Oh, good grief, I hope not. Let's take this to the necromancer. Back at the stronghold. <sighs> like I said... <coughs> excuse me. There's quite a lot of running back and forth in this mod. It's a little annoying. They should give you some kind of teleportation spell that takes you to the inner sanctum of the Black Hand. At least that's what I think. Because you have to walk through this part of the sewers, and then through the Hall of Silence, and then through the Hall of God knows what. Uh, it's a little tedious. Just a little bit. A horse. Interesting. Now I gotta walk through this hall, good grief. I don't know why I'm always jumping up these torches, but... I guess it's fun. Alright. Let's go back to the Necromancer. Which is over here to the right. And we have to bring him the dried blood of the traitor. Of Matthew Bellamont. <laughs> God damn it, my throat. Are you still drinking on the job, you bitch? I fear this isn't enough, though. Seriously? Then what should I do? The Brotherhood has no lack of traitors, it seems. Yeah. Thanks. I guess I'll have to talk to those chroniclers, then... After all. Uh, but they don't speak. They don't speak. Oh well. Maybe they will now. <sighs> the library. Alright. Chronicle. What the fuck? Well, this one does. I like your mask. But what can you tell me about Blood of a Traitor? Nothing. That's just fucking wonderful. Thanks a lot, man. That, that you've you've been a great fucking help. Wait, I think I think he wants me to follow him. I can do that. That's a simple task. It doesn't sound too advanced. It sounds like something I can do, right? Whatever. Is that the no? He's right here. Oh my god. You're really a source of wisdom and... Good grief. Where are you taking me? I don't know, but I'll just follow this guy. Hey, Lucian. Good tidings, citizen. I'm not a citizen, I'm your master. The listener. Apparently we're going in the vault hallway. Just following the chronicler. <coughs> I wonder if you can get his... 
dress somewhere. Money. Yeah, yeah, just keep walking. I'm just collecting the coins off the ground because I'm a bum. Well, this is an interesting place. So, what are we going to do now? Are you going to take us to some kind of secret area? Oh my god. I love being right. But it was pretty predictable. Alright, the storage room. That's not secret. What the fuck? Help. Help me. What the... Who the fuck are you? I'm so thirsty. Your blood smells so sweet. Come here. Get away from me. Are you a traitor? The speakers knew I was down here. Must have. I can't resist it. Everyone else is dead. Just a drink, little one, and I'll get them all. What the... The Chroniclers can fight? Oh my god, the Chronicler can actually fight. <coughs> Emaciated vampire. Vampire dust. I have killed my own silencer. What the... What the fuck? What just happened? I collected his blood. I don't remember doing that. Oh god, look at all this money. Ah, so much money! Ah, it's like Aladdin all over again. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Whoa, my god! I'm gonna come back here off screen at one point and collect all of these, because I don't want to bore you guys. Ooh, nice. That's more like it. I'll just check these chests. Rat meat. Who puts rat meat in a chest? That's just stupid. Wow, look at all this stuff. Wonderful. I'm very pleased. My god, look at this. So much awesome stuff. And more gold coins. Whee! This is my favorite room in the entire Black Hand Stronghold. Shadow Tome. I wonder what that's all about. I'm really tempted to pick up all the gold, but uh... It's gonna take a while to collect all this gold. I wish I could just grab it all in one go. But whatever, let's get the fuck out of here. I have some blood, so maybe that's enough for the ritual. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there are more items... ...that I need to collect. Let us go back to the Necromancer. I honestly never expected that Chronicler to start kicking some ass, though. That was totally unexpected. Alright, I got some more blood. This should be enough for the ritual. Thank God. <sighs> so now what? I hope I can help. How about the ritual? We require one last item for the resurrection ceremony we are performing. Riglasil. Err, what now? It is the blade used in Ver Sidouche's assassination. The first public execution by the Morag Tong of Morrowind. The one who wielded the blade was named Exar Sidrithi. His act shattered the Empire in Ak Virwind. He assassinated the Potentate. Rilla something was buried with Sidrithi, the Blade of Legend, and assassination will transfer the chance to soul back to his body. Get to the point, old man. Its location is disputed among scholars. However, many will say that it is buried with its master. Am I going to go to Morrowind now? As to where his tomb is located, eludes even my wisdom. You're not that great. Do you know anyone who can be of assistance? And please don't tell me to go back to the mystic. I've heard of a certain scholar from the Arcane University. Well, I'm a mage from the Mages Guild. The scholar fled Morrowind after his family all died of the blight. Well, that's wonderful. On his way into Cyrodiil, he passed through a cave that bore the signs of the Tong. Since then, he has tried to uncover what the cave was used for. His name is Anthony Percival, and he is an Imperial. I guess I'll go talk to him, then. The Blade of the Rivals. Yeah, the Morak Tong, those bastards. I have an armor set that they used to use. It's back home in Arun Mothi. 
put it in a nice little display case for the world to see. Not that anyone's ever going to get in my house. You not getting in my house, man. But I guess we got to talk to Antony Percival to find the blade of some kind of Morag Tong thing. <coughs> Which is going to bring Lucian back from the dead. It's going to bring him back. I'm going to water jump because I'm Jesus. Ah, I hit the wall. We gotta go to the Arcane University. Man, I haven't been there in ages. I Oh my god, nice weather. I wonder if they still remember me. It's been a while since I've been there in the university. <laughs> I've ditched school all this time. <sighs> Hope I'm not gonna get in trouble. John. John. Why are there two Johns? It's bullshit, yo. Are you Antony? Look, friend, I'm much too busy to chat right now. I have a lot on my mind. Leave me. You're a voice actor. You have a voice actor, so that means you're important. Tell me about Riglasil. 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 Oh, that Riglasil. Do you mean the lake in High Rock or the Morag Tong dagger? Obviously the lake. Oh, I see. Who are you anyway? Not the Tong, certainly. Uh. I am. Um, I shouldn't say that. You are not who I was expecting then. Never mind. Fine. No. I'm of the Dark Brotherhood. I run an organization. We we're in the business of killing people. It's 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 a pretty good business. Oh, you're from the Dark Brotherhood. Why all this talk about a dagger then? What the? It's about time. I thought you people worked faster. I did the ritual three what? nights ago. What? What ritual? But, 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 what are you talking about? What? Isn't that how it works? You do the ritual, pray to the Night Mother, and the Dark Brotherhood comes and arranges the contract. I guess so. You need someone killed? Yes, my whore of a wife. Ho ho! What's your fee? My fee? Uh, if you get me the dagger... All right, then. Good. Now, that's all settled. Listen closely. Uh, she and I just came here to the Imperial City, and all we have right now is a shack on the water. Sucks for you? I know she's in there late at night with him. Ho -ho. You go in there, and you take her God's damned heart when she's in bed with him. I want to hold her heart in my hands and crush it between my fingers. Remove the life from her <coughs> body and return with her heart in hand. Sure, that sounds like... Her finger, the one with the wedding ring. Remove that, too. Her heart and her finger. Okay, I don't want to know what you're going to do with her finger, but... You're the boss. Yes, that's right. And him. He'll be there, I know it. He always comes at night. Right. Bring me his... head. That way his dead eyes can watch while I crush her heart when he stole from me beneath my heel. You jelly bro? Good. Now go. I'll gather the information. I have nothing to lose. All I have has been taken from me. Okay, I get it. Your life sucks. Uh, vengeance is his only thing that he still likes or whatever. It's his only reason to live. Well, in that case, I'm more than happy to oblige. I'm always willing to help people in need. So I'll kill those bastards. Adultery is punishable by death, after all, I think. I don't know. Let's go. I think it's nighttime. And if it's not, fuck it. Let's murder these lovers. I hope I'm not going to run into any kinky sex scenes while I'm doing this. I don't want to have to censor the video. Get out of here! Oh, uh, they're not doing it yet. That sucks. I guess I'll wait until it's like 3 a.m. That's when most people do it, right? Yeah. At least they're gonna die doing what they love. Oh, they're still... Come on, get going already. Come on, make sweet love by the fire! Make sweet love! Oh, you people suck. 
Fine, I'll leave. Now go, get on with it. Make love. Make sweet motherfucking love. <coughs> I'll wait one more hour, but that's it. Oh, it wasn't 3 a.m. Of course, duh. People don't make love at 2 a.m. That's just stupid. People make love at 3. Oh, fuck you. This is your last hey, come on now. I'm just gonna kill them. I have to kill you. Because you're... What's it called? I hope the guards aren't coming, but whatever. Let's see. Finger and... Yeah, okay. Human heart. Marcus. Marcus's head. Okay. Ho ho! It actually decapitated him. Awesome! Hee <laughs> hee! Let's get out of here. That was fun. I'm just a little bit disappointed that they weren't doing it. You know what I mean? They were supposed to be doing it while I killed them, but they weren't doing it. It was just the guy was not initiating. I mean, the woman was already in bed, but the guy was not initiating. What a dick! What a fucking dick! What a chump! Please go ahead. I killed your slut. A pleasure to speak with you. I killed the bitch. You have the evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No more shame from me. Right. Now about this blade. Continue. It's quite the legend among the assassins of the Morag Tong. So I heard. It was used in the assassination of the potentate. What's the long potentate? Ago by a Tong assassin named Exar Sidrethi. Okay. Sidrethi was exiled from Morrowind oh. for this action. When he died many years later, he wished to be as close to his home soil as possible. But banned from Morrowind, he had to lie in Cyrodiil. Why Cyrodiil? With him, lay Why not Somerset to Isle? A tomb within a cave in the very edge of the Vallas Mountains. A passage between Cyrodiil and Morrowind. The Morag Tong found it. Okay. Where is the location? Because I'm on a tight schedule. Fine. Here, I shall mark it on your map. <laughs> very well. Goodbye, Heartbreaker. Now, it's right there, Passage to Morrowind. What an original name! 